your pilgrims today we are making a virtual pilgrimage to Fatima Parish Church that is behind me and Fatima Parish Church is very important because it's the place where the three shepherds of Fatima were baptized and used to attend mass because this was the parish church of Fatima um, and this parish church is from 68 so has around 450 years and was here that the children and the parents and all the people of Fatima of this region used to come to attend mass used to come to, to the catechism and also the school where they used to go was behind the church so was here that Lucia uh, did her first communion uh, in 19 when she was uh, six years old. At that time, it was normal to do the first communion with seven years old. years old. She was, she answered all her questions, uh, she was more than prepared, but even like that, the father Pena decided to tell her to wait another year because he didn't want to open an exception. So she was very, very sad. Uh, and uh, at that time, another priest, a Jesuit priest, Father Cruz, came into the church and he saw this little girl crying and very upset and very sad and he started to chat with her uh, and he realized that she was more than prepared to make her first communion that year so he told her go home lucia and tell your sisters to prepare you and to make you a dress come back this afternoon for your first confession because you are my responsibility, I will speak with Father Pena, the parish priest, and you'll do your first communion this year. So she was thrilled. She went home, she told her sisters, and she came back that afternoon to make her first confession. And there were two priests here in confession here in the church, in the sacristy and in another room beside the altar. Uh, and Jacinta went to do her first confession with Father Cruz and after the confession she came and knelt and prayed in front of the statue of Our Lady of the Rosary because you'll see a beautiful statue of Our Lady of the Rosary inside this church it has more than 400 years this statue is a beautiful statue of Our Lady and was in front of that statue kneeling in front of that statue that Lucia did the prayers and she explained and she wrote in her memoirs in Fatima and Lucia's own words that that statue of Our Lady of the Rosary smiled on her. Then you'll see as well uh, beside Our Lady of the Rosary, St. Teresa of Avila, another, another saint. Uh, this saint, St. Teresa, is from, was uh, lived at the same uh, era, in the same, at the same time as the foundation of this church, the parish church, because it was at the end of the 16th century, uh, and is also here. And uh, uh, this parish church is dedicated to St. Anthony. St. Anthony, the Portuguese saint that is very famous throughout the world. He was Portuguese. He was born in Lisbon in 1195 at the end of the 12th century. And this parish is dedicated to him, St. Anthony of Lisbon or St. Anthony of Padua. That's why you'll see inside this church a statue of St. Anthony. From here you'll see as well uh, this window is a stained glass window of Our Lady of Joy because this parish first was dedicated to Our Lady of Joy 
In Portuguese, we'll say Nossa Senhora dos Prazeres. And is inside the statue of Our Lady of Joy, carrying the child Jesus, and the baby Jesus is playing with the hair, head, hair of, uh, of, of the mother. So it's a beautiful statue that has more than 400 years as well inside this church of Fatima, the parish church of Fatima. Sister Lucia, because Francisco and Jacinta um, were already canonized, became saints, but not Lucia. And well, Jacinta, uh, um, Our Lady appeared to Jacinta here in this church, uh, the year 1917, uh, Assumption Thursday, uh, Our Lady appeared here to little Jacinta and taught her how to meditate on the 15th mysteries of the rosary and um, before 2017 we have an old painting here um, with Jacinta and Our Lady uh, to remind us that Our Lady appeared here to little Jacinta on Assumption Thursday and uh, Ascension Thursday and uh, um, this painting uh, at Christmas time they used to open the painting and show the uh, nativity scene uh, that we have here in our parish church. In 2017, uh, the year of the centenary, uh, the 100th anniversary of the apparitions uh, of Our Lady here in Fatima, uh, our parish priest, uh, Father Rui Marto, he decided to have a new painting with more details. This new painting um, represents um, the, the, the apparition of Our Lady to Jacinta on Ascension Thursday. So there's the Ascension of Jesus in the middle. And then we can see Jacinta and Our Lady. Um, and uh, Jacinta, she has her hand at the arm of Our Lady and Our Lady with the Rosary to remind us that she came here to teach Jacinta how to meditate on the 15 mysteries of the Rosary. Um, on above uh, Jacinta and Our Lady, uh, there's an angel. Well, there are two angels, one on each side of Jesus. Uh, one is the Angel of Peace. Uh, the angel that appeared here in Fatima to give communion to the three little shepherds and uh, uh, to teach them to, to, to pray, and he came to prepare them. And the other angel is the angel of Annunciation, the angel Gabriel. Uh, on the other side, we can see um, Pope John Paul II, uh, Lucia, Francisco, and many people behind them. The crowds that came to Fatima on the 13th of October 1917 to see the miracle of the sun. Um, and the miracle of the sun is represented there too. 
uh, to remind us how the sun danced in the sky for all people to believe the three little shepherds of Fatima. So it's a beautiful painting uh, by a French painter uh, with many details um, to, that was placed here in 2017 uh, to mark that anniversary. Uh, little Jacinta, uh, she loved coming here to, uh, to the church and one time that she was here praying, uh, she, she wanted to come here to keep company to Jesus uh, because her brother Francisco, uh, after he died, uh, he was no longer here to keep company to Jesus in the tabernacle. So Lucia, she was coming here and one time she was sitting here keeping company to Jesus. And one lady behind her cut a piece of her hair. She didn't like that. They had no peace. Everyone wanted to touch them, to take pieces of their clothes, uh, even her hair. So after that, Jacinta, she used to hid in a pulpit that we have here, and she used to pray from there. And like this, no one would disturb her. And when school was over, her cousin Lucia that was going to school near uh, the parish church, when the school was over, she was coming here to the church to collect her cousin Jacinta, and she used to clap her hands three times. That was a sign for Jacinta to show, uh, to go back home, not other people that were coming here to disturb her. Um, one time Jacinta here, uh, this was Corpus Christi Day, Eucharistic procession uh, here uh, in the parish church. So Corpus Christi Day and uh, little Jacinta, she had a basket of roses with other girls. Uh, Lucia, she was uh, uh, in charge of that procession with uh, organizing the girls with the, um, the, the baskets of rose petals to throw during the, the procession. The priest came with the Eucharist in a procession and uh, uh, Jacinta, she didn't throw one single petal. And at the end of the procession, her cousin Lucia, she was not happy uh, with her cousin. She went to her, why did you not do what you were told? You never do what you were told. Because Jacinta, she was kind of stubborn. And Jacinta, she looked to her cousin and she said, I couldn't see Jesus. She thought that the priest was bringing a baby Jesus on his arms. And Lucia then, she was able to explain to her cousin that was a hidden Jesus. Jesus was hidden in the host. And after that, the three shepherds, they were always saying, Oh, I'm praying to the hidden Jesus. Even Jesus in the tabernacle was the hidden Jesus. Special um, children. Contemplate like Francisco, a contemplative boy. Uh, Francisco, uh, when Our Lady uh, told him that he was going to heaven soon, uh, in June 1917, uh, he used to tell the sister and the cousin, it's no point for me to go to school because I'm going to heaven soon, so I want to spend my time adoring Jesus. So he used to miss school to stay here in the parish church to adore Jesus. He used to kneel in front of the tabernacle for many, many hours. Lucia, she said that when she was coming back to collect him, he was in the exact same position that uh, uh, she, when she left him, kneeling in front of of the tabernacle and the tabernacle beautiful tabernacle a white blue and gold colors uh, this tabernacle
came back to the parish church on the year 2000 um, and uh, uh, it's the one that was here at the time of the apparitions that Francisco used to uh, kneel in front of it. We are in front of the parish church house. It was here that uh, the parish uh, priest interrogated the children at that time of the apparitions because they didn't know if the apparitions were true or not. They wanted to know what happened, what uh, this lady said to the children. And it was here in this house behind me that the parish priest interrogated the children and you saw the tile blue and wild, uh, white referring and uh, uh, representing this, uh, this uh, interrogation, interrogation of the children. It's also here in this uh, house that Father Henrique, a parish priest that was 50 years, more than 50 years, a parish priest of this parish, the parish of Fatima, used to live. Uh, he died in 2000. church in a little house just over there uh, and that is our parish priest now. Uh, we have also here a statue of our old parish priest, Father Henrique. He was and he did such uh, good work for the people of Fatima that when the, was the 50th anniversary of priesthood of, um, of this priest, the, the parish people they did these bronze uh, statues representing the families and the gratitude of the families of Fatima uh, for his work. So here we have a representation of the families of Fatima. So uh, we are at the cemetery of Fatima and this was where Francisco and Jacinta were first buried. As you know, Francisco died in 1919. Uh, he was buried here. And only in 1952, uh, his uh, body was uh, transferred to the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary. Uh, Jacinta died in 1990, uh, 1920, one year after the brother. She was first buried in the cemetery of Ogain. In 1939, she was transferred here to the cemetery here. And uh, then in 1951, uh, her body uh, was transferred to the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary. Uh, so no one is buried um, here now, but to remind us that um, the brother and the sister, Francisco and Jacinta, uh, to remind us that they were buried here, uh, we still have this uh, marble stone and it's written in Portuguese uh, telling us that uh, here is where uh, the remains of uh, Francisco and Jacinta uh, Marto uh, rested a um, year after uh, they died. So we'll see you next Friday. Keep safe and God bless you.